Breaking right now, lifeguards race to rescue children in the water near a jetty in Newburyport. This rescue was the latest in a busy week after riptides pulled dozens of people out into the deep. WBZ Shante Lands is live in Newburyport tonight with the breaking details. Shante? And Paula and Liam, lifeguards have been pretty busy this week. 48 rescues alone in one day over in Hampton Beach. And here, two older children rescued in the past few hours. They just ran out there. It was really pretty amazing to see them running at top speed. Lucia Combora witnessed a lifeguard rescue of what appears to be two older children at Newburyport Beach. We could see the kids out, f pretty far out, um, into the water near the jetty and you just see these heads bobbing and um, but they did make it back to shore a recurring scene across the area base to post 19 like at hampton beach july is usually the worst because we have the biggest crowds in july lifeguards remain ready after 48 hours on wednesday alone the last time that happened was on a summer weekend in 1985. we had uh 125 rescues in three days, uh, okay. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Jim Donahue has been a lifeguard for 58 years. Chief Donahue says the victims were mostly non swimmers, the elderly, young children, and boogie boarders. I like coming here and like riding in on our boogie boards from the waves. It's really fun. An alarming statistic for this mom and her two kids. That concerns me. You know, you have to watch them, they can go and real quick. I think everybody looks out for everybody. Aside from looking out for each other, lifeguards encourage swimmers to stay calm when entering a riptide. And if you're caught in one, try not to panic. I know it's easier said than done, but if you can keep a clear head and, and try, and you will get out of it. These and lifeguards also suggest checking in with them on the water conditions before going in. Live in Newburyport, Shante Lands, WBC News.